Hey everybody, Crossroof here from GreenSock, and today I want to talk to you about GreenSock's Expo Scale Ease. The Expo Scale Ease allows you to create silky smooth scaling animations that are practically impossible to replicate with other tools. I'm going to use this demo here to illustrate the problem that Expo Scale Ease solves. Here I have a very simple tween that's going to animate an image from a scale of 0.1 to a scale of 8 using a linear ease. Pay attention to the image on the right as I run this demo. Even though it's a linear ease, you'll see that it starts really fast and then slows down. It's not a constant rate of change that we would be expecting with a linear ease. Let me run it one more time so you can see. I can assure you that GSAP is applying the scale values exactly as it should. It's just that when you're doing a scale animation, over time the percent of increase between each update gets smaller and smaller. Let me explain. Here I have a chart showing scale changing from 1 to 10, all right? So when we change the scale from 1 to 2, we have a 100% increase in scale. But as we move on down the line, the change of animating from scale 9 to scale 10 only represents an 11.1% increase. So as the scale increases linearly, the percent of change is decreasing. This is what gives us the illusion that the animation is slowing down. Let me show you how the Expo Scale Ease can tackle this phenomenon. So back in my original demo, I'm going to add another tween here that's going to animate the image on the left. And we're going to be using the same values for the scale. We're going to animate from 0.1 to 8. But this time we're going to be using the Expo Scale Ease. And we're going to configure it with the starting and ending scale values of 0.1 and 8. And I'll tell you in a little bit why we need those values. But for now, let me just comment out the original tween that was linear. And now pay attention to the left. And you're going to see that this image now grows at a constant linear rate. All right, It's not starting fast and then slowing down. It's totally constant. Let me just run this one more time. And what I want to tell you is that the Expo Scale Ease literally takes a linear ease and bends it so that the size or area of the image is changing at a linear rate and not necessarily the scale. I have one more illustration to make this all clear. And I also want to show you why it's so important to specify the starting and ending scale values in your config method. This chart here shows a linear increase in scale of a 50 by 50 element. So here, at a scale of 1, a 50 by 50 element has an area of 2500. As we increase that scale to 2, the size is going to jump to 100 by 100, giving an area of 10,000. So what's happening here is there's literally a 300% increase in area. As we go on down the line here, if we go to a scale 4, which would be 200 by 200, we get an area of 40,000. And at scale 5, we have an area of 62,500, which is roughly only a 50% increase in area. And just eyeballing this chart, you can see that the change in size between scale 4 and scale 5 is much less than the change in size between scale 1 and scale 2. And that's why these scaling animations, again, appear to slow down, because the amount of change that happens between these larger scales is much less than it was at the beginning. And furthermore, due to the fact that the amount of change is different between each one of these scale values is why we have to pass in the starting and ending scale to that config method of the Expo Scale Ease. Again, because changing from a scale of 3 to 5 is going to be a much different curve than when you're scaling between a scale of 1 and 2. If you're using CSS animations or the Web Animations API, it's going to be very difficult to approximate the curve that you would need to animate from a scale 3 to a scale 5 using only two control points. And of course, since GSAP is JavaScript based, it can dynamically and precisely generate any curve that you need. So now that we have a better understanding of what Expo Scale Ease is doing under the hood, let's do a side by side comparison with a regular linear ease on a scale. And you'll notice that the version on the right again is going to start fast and slow down, whereas we have this really nice smooth scaling on the left with Expo Scale Ease. So I'm going to get rid of that first one because we know it's not what we want. And I just want to show you also how we need to pass in the proper config values. Let's say that I want to flip this animation around and scale from 8 down to 1. If I run it now, you're going to notice that, uh-oh, 
it's really not working very well. It's going to start very, very slow and then eventually speed up. Well, again, the reason for that is that we need to tell the config method the start and end values because the expo scale ease needs to know how much to bend the ease curve so that it can account for the proper percent of change over time. So making that little fix is going to give me this perfectly nice smoothing from scale eight down to scale one. Now, so far, we've only been trying to mimic a linear scale, right? But maybe you wanna do a scale that has any other ease on it, like perhaps a power two dot ease out. What we can do is add a third parameter to the config method, and this will specify which ease we want to use and bend so that it scales perfectly along that ease curve. And right now I'm just gonna do a power two dot ease out, and I'm going to hit run. And so now you're gonna notice that it does start fast and slow down, and it perfectly follows a power two ease out curve. So here's a more complex demo where we use 22 images and we're flipping between them while scaling to create this seamless zooming effect. I'm gonna jump over to the JavaScript and what I'm gonna do is change the scaling around just a little bit so that what's happening is a little bit more clear. When I run this demo now, watch what happens. You'll see that each new image that comes in is just a 50% cropped version of the previous one which gets hidden at double size. What I'm gonna do now is I'll turn that feature off and let me do a comparison with show expo. Let me just change this to true. So check it out. The expo scale ease on the left is perfectly smooth and seamless. But if you look at the linear version on the right, you'll have this slight pulsing where the image is starting fast and slowing down. And when you're looking at them side by side, you can see that it's really quite jarring. How this whole demo was built is probably going to be a tutorial for another day. But for now, you can download Expo Scale Ease in Tween Max version 1.20.4. It's available in Ease Pack as well. So hop on over to greensock.com, download the latest files, have some fun with Expo Scale Ease.